Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about updating and deleting records in a MongoDB collection. So one of the most important things that we might wanna do is, you know, we already have information in the collection. We want to either update that information or we want to delete that information. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can do that uh, today. I'm actually just gonna paste in some code and this will kind of give us an idea of how we can update a record. So over here I have some code and the way that we update a record is we can just say db.students.update1. And there's actually uh, two of these functions. There's update one and then there's update many. First we'll look at update one. So update one will update one record in the database. And the first thing we're gonna put in here inside of these uh, parentheses is we're gonna put a curly bracket, a set of curly brackets. And this is gonna be our filter. So just like we did in the last tutorial where we were uh, finding specific records and we were using these different filters to do it, it's basically what we're gonna do here. So over here, I'm gonna specify, you know, some sort of filter that will, you know, limit the records that I'm trying to get down to, a, you know, a specific amount. So over here, I'm filtering the update one to anybody who has a biology major. Now, if we come over here into the uh, compass so we can kind of see the GUI here. I actually have two students who have biology as a major. So we have this guy down here and that guy up there. So this will kind of be interesting to illustrate how this works. So we have our filter. So this is only gonna try to update anybody whose major is equal to biology. And then down here, we basically have what we wanna update. So this would be like what we wanna update uh, inside of any of those records that match the filter. So here it's just an open and closed uh, curly bracket. And then I just have set. So dollar sign set, this will basically mean we want to uh, set something. And then over here, we're setting the major equal to biology or equal to bio. So anybody who has a major of biology is now going to get updated with a major of bio. But here's the thing, because we're using this update one function, this is only gonna update one record in the database. So even if there's more than one person with a major of biology in the collection, we're only gonna update one of them no matter what. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm just gonna paste this over into the terminal, which I have over here on the right side. And I'm just gonna hit enter, and this is gonna go ahead and modify that. And you'll see over here, it basically just says, uh, acknowledge true matched count one. So we matched one record, and then we modified one record. So let's head over to the compass, and you'll see now when I refresh this, that this first student with the major of biology got changed to bio. And so if I wanted to change the other one, I could just redo that command over here. So I just redid it over here on the command line and now I'll refresh again. And now the other person is also gonna get updated. So because we did update one, we had to do it twice in order to update both of those records. But if you wanna update more than one, you can also update uh, many. So we could just change this up here. Instead of update one, we could change it to update many. And now why don't we change them back? So up here, we'll update anybody who has a major of bio and we'll update it back to biology. So this is gonna be like our little updated uh, statement here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we'll paste this over here into the command prompt. And so now what happened is, and actually let me show you guys this, it says acknowledge match count two, modified count two. So now instead of uh, just updating one of them, we're gonna be updating both of them. So now if I refresh this, you'll see that both of our bio majors have been updated back to biology majors. So that's basically how that works. Now in the last tutorial, I showed you guys a bunch of these different filters, right? So we talked about how we could grab you know, very specific types of records. We used like greater than, less than. Um, we looked at how we could grab specific things from arrays. All that stuff that I taught you guys is going to be applicable up here. So it's the same exact thing, right? Up here, we're just filtering. So we're just, you know, telling MongoDB what specific uh, entries in the collection we want uh, the set down here to be applied to. All right, so now let's take a look at replacing something. So in addition to just updating something, we can also replace something that's already in the collection. So the difference would be like, uh, instead of updating a, a particular entry in the collection, we would just completely replace it with a, a new entry. And so this is actually pretty similar to update. We just have db.students.replace1. And so over here, we can basically say like the filter. So I'm just filtering out, you know, what records do I want to replace? And in this case, it's going to be anything where major is biology. And then down here, I am just, this is going to be the new object that we're going to enter in there in its place. So we're going to replace the record that matches this filter up here with the record that we specified down here. So in this case, the name is just gonna be new name, major, new major, GPA is gonna be 4.0. So let's copy this and we'll go ahead and place this guy over here into the command prompt. 
and I'll hit enter and you'll notice over here it's basically telling us that we modified it. So let's go back to here and now you'll see that the entry that used to be a biology major, Jack, now has a new name and a new major and his GPA is four. So we effectively replaced uh, that entry in the database. And that's, you know, replacing versus updating, it's really, you know, up to you which one you wanna use, but they both pretty much work exactly the same. All right, so then in addition to updating and replacing, we can also delete something. So if you wanna delete something, it's just db.collectionName, uh, and then we can just say delete many. So delete many will delete, obviously, many records. And so if you wanna delete every record in the collection, you can just put an empty open and closed curly bracket right there, and that'll just delete everything. Um, you could also say delete many, and then you could specify like a condition. So I could say delete many over here. We could say GPA. So delete many where GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5. And now when I do this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna delete any records who have a GPA greater than or equal to 3.5. So let's take a look at this and We'll put this over here in the command prompt and we'll run it and you'll see over here, it gives us this message, um, deleted count is four. So we actually just deleted four records from the database. So let's take a look when we come over here and you'll see the database got significantly smaller because we deleted any of the objects that matched that condition. We could also just do delete one and delete one will just delete one record, right? So all these things are kind of the same. We have update one, update many, insert one, insert many, uh, and then we have delete one, delete many. And then so delete one, we could place another condition in here. So I could say like uh, delete one and where major is biology or something like that. And then that would delete any of the records who have a major of biology. So that's really the basics of uh, updating, replacing, and deleting. And obviously this can come in handy. I mean, really the whole point is MongoDB is all about specifying filters and then being able to do stuff. So really the power with this is being able to select the specific things in the collection that you want to either delete or replace or uh, even just find in general. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.